Yo, I, Flacco, Flacco, Mark, act out. Y'all heard him on the phone apologizing to Flacco. Bro. <laughs> yo, yo, this thing was- nah, I'm blind. I talked to Flacco earlier. Flacco said he don't want no problem with academics. He's not going to respond to academics. He said, you talk to him? Nah, nah, Why you flip out on Flacco? Because put like this. All right, you want me to give you the situation? I don't know okay, what okay. happened. All right, it's me and you now we talking about. You, you got to tell me if you be mad at me, right? Okay. Cool. You know I do my stream. I do my podcast. All of a sudden, you know, you're you looking at it like, well, you on this platform, you're supposed to be interviewing people at this level. If all of a sudden I announce some random chick who tried to expose you, I'm like, yo, that's my next interview. First of all, it looks weird. Why are you interviewing her? Now, we only going to talk about Whack 100 and what she claims uh, Whack 100 did to her. I lie. Whack 100, ooh, ooh. Whack 100 bullied her. Yeah. Did you do that with them bitches from the hotel? No, he did it with this dude. So this dude is looking at some shit and saying, yeah, you know, this thing is an abuser. This thing is this. This thing is that. I'm like, yo. And all they did was talk about you. He got lying. The nigga started off the interview. It was so this, the nigga started off the interview while doing doing the, with the nigga. He said, yo, what's up, man? He said, I don't even know how to. He said, I don't even know what to call you. In, re- in reality, I just call you big homie. I'm like, yo. That's how you talking to the dude who just basically called me all type of abuses, all type of shit. I'm like, you can't. I couldn't be a band if I'm like, yo, I interviewed somebody who I know shouldn't even be on the platform. You talk to the nigga? Who? Flacco. Nah, I ain't talking to him. Because you I don't apologize. Man, you should let him apologize. I talked to the nigga already. Yeah, Ax, stop being a bully. Hey, hey, Ax, stop being a bully. Now, Flacco, nah, Beast Flacco, look up to Act though. That's who he got his whole print behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not, he can't be biting the hand. You know what I mean? Academics were showing him love and shit, and he wants to go over there. Hey, look, he, 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 but he worth one fuck up, though. He could fuck up one time. He could fuck, he ain't never went against Act any other time. He, he took the platform and did what he did, built it off of that. He, he did one fuck up. This nigga been mutilating this nigga. He been going hard on that nigga. Um, but you right about that because he did say, I look at, he want to be act. He done, he done said it. He, he all the stuff you going through and no jump. I said, you find, I, I kept comparing his plight there to what I had going on in complex. I said, yo, when I went in there, they looked at me as the internet dude, the outsider. You're at no jumper. They look at you as the outside. Everybody got some type of root in California, but you. I understand what it is like to be there. You got to start proving your worth. That's how you actually gain some value. You know, I did it. At Complex, they started seeing, well, if the audience fuck with act, let's fuck with act. So this is why, this is why I said it with Flacco. I said, Flacco, don't interview no weird dude for like 10,000 views who going to say some demeaning shit trying to mess up my business. Especially when you know it's not true. It's not like this is some real true shit. Like, if Wax said he got paperwork, it's not like he's trying to make up a lie. He's trying to say, this is the facts. I say, Flacco, you know if you said, yo, bro, yo, could we do some shit together which is going to be bigger than anything you could possibly do with anybody else? It's like, why would I interview a chick or interview a dude, some random street dude, like, oh, y'all want to expose Wax? When you know Yo, I'm gonna get whack to I'm gonna get whack to come on my platform, and we gonna talk about it in the capacity he want to talk about it. You get what I mean? And they're gonna get way more views. We gonna really yeah. run it up. But oh, it, it, it's just let shit, certain shit go unchecked. You know what I mean? And yeah. you know, like again, e- even with you know uh, me addressing it before, and even now that we talking, I don't want people to think that this is me versus you because I keep saying this media shit don't stop with me. It's always gonna continue. So. I want you to win. I have tried to give you advice, though, because I think you're in similar positions I used to be in. Whether you want to, you know, kind of take heat to some of those, it's up to you. But I took everything, though, right? A question for you, right, Act, right? Question, right, bro? So, bro, like, I kind of seen it as, yo, bro, like, Act knows, bro. Like, for example, for every type of scandal or, or like, media diggers attacking Act, like, bro, I came on every platform, including No Jumper, right? And say, yo, nah, bro, like, and these niggas are sabotaging act. Nah, fuck that, right? For act, right? So, like, for every single scandal that came out, bro, every one, you feel me, right? I've always been on the forefront of, yo, nah, fuck that, right? You feel me? 
right? And and riding the hardest, right? Right. So for this interview, like, it's the first two times I said, nah, man, act is impactful. Nah, man, act do got bread, right? If in a 10-minute rent, dog, I ain't catch that. Yo, act yeah, yeah, no, yeah, dog. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Like, and, right. and, and by the way, yo, and by the way, no, 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 completely. I'm, I'm not saying that this being your MO, like you've been trying to do anything type of weird. Definitely not trying to say that. I'm 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 forecasting for you, but also people, you know, in in the particular space of media. You know, I'm someone who, and by the way, think about Wax right now. Wax voice is so loud. Remember, Clubhouse was just something that everybody having fun on. Wax voice yeah. is so loud right now. If Wax says something on Clubhouse, that's just going to be either trending or it's going to change the conversation. Viral. Viral. No, it's, put, it's putting him in a different space, bro. I used to just be on Twitch, just kind of just speaking my mind to send third, but now you see shade room. Shoot, like, you know what I mean? Even the whole thing that happened, like, I'm out with my girl now. TMZ cares about what the heck happens to me. So what happens that once you start to elevate, you got to be careful because we black men with certain situations. For example, and that's why I always told Adam, but Adam's white. I told him, I said, Adam, when it comes to situations regarding sexual assault, domestic violence, all these other stuff, I know how men... Like, some, like, we just seen the whole thing with um Javante Davis and his baby moms. Baby moms just put out a statement and said, oh, yeah, I lied on that nigga. Nobody cares about the lie. You, you know what the biggest headline is? He did that shit. So I look at this now as, you know, I'm trying to elevate because hopefully I'm, I'm trying to pave a way for a lot of people in me that hopefully this is, you know, suits to Charlamagne and all them niggas who came before me, but they were in the system of like, okay, you're with iHeart, whatever. Man, I'm trying to get it off. YouTube, Twitch, and trying to show how you can still elevate. Hopefully you, anybody else can follow it, but you know what they come at you with? They're going to be like, well, aren't you an abuser? Aren't you these things? These things, that ain't true. So it's like, also, I got to get a little bit more sensitive about the reputation. Like, I don't, nigga could call me fat all day. You yeah. fat, you a bitch, you snitch, this and third, but you know, certain things with black men, corporate doors start to close or corporate doors start to say, whoa, wait, he did what? They don't even they don't hear. It. They don't. They don't hear the other side. They didn't hear when the chick said, "Oh, that's a lie," or they didn't hear the explanation. They hear mouthpieces kind of going up with it, you know. Yeah. So th these are the only things where I'm like, "Yo, I'm, I'll be honest. I'm sensitive about that because yeah. right about now, in the place where I'm trying to get to, those are the only things that could close the door, right? People saying, "Well, then he is he accused of this?" But like, whoa, whoa, no, I'm not. Like yeah, this is something that. You know, some people who may not like me, I'd rather somebody say anything about me. Yo, you a bitch. Yo, we beat you up. We did whatever to you. Just don't be saying nothing about me, especially me harming women, me, any type of domestic violence. Like, these these type of things, you know, especially from Blueface, and I'm talking to what? Yeah. From Blueface and Chris Sean. Once, once certain narratives start going out there, they don't want to hear the rest. Oh, no, 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 we're good. We're, we're going to pass on this right now. Straight up. And yeah. they usually don't want to come back around. So that's why I get a little bit, I get defensive on it, but I get defensive when it comes to my media partners. Because sure. I know, I know when it was like when, yo, them chicks who was, when Adam got his deal canceled with Atlantic Records, they came to me. They said, yo, we don't know if, we don't think y'all that cool. Would you give us a platform that we could try to bury him? You know what I said? I said, I already know y'all like that. Y'all should probably go to the police if that's what y'all think going on. Let yeah. me go talk to him. I'm going to interview him. I'm going to interview him and let me and him talk about it. Because I know there's a clout, there's a clout incentive for you, for him, for you. For him, this is a livelihood. Yeah. So I look at it like that. And again, you know, it's not about talking because people, I've seen people mention it. Why was he mad when Rory and Millie Mall came on Adam's platform? Well, that's not the, the level of what it is. It's about these sensitive subjects. We live in a very interesting times where, you know, we all can't be like Charleston White. Charleston White is just saying, that he did whatever with white women. You say that, if you're me and you say some shit like that, jokingly or not, it's a rap. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yo, 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 right, right. So listen, right. So like, bro, like, I just want you to know personally, dog, like, you know, bro, like, I've personally, bro, like, bro, like, I've personally, like, fucked up a bunch of relationships just defending you, right? Like, like, I'm, like, like, um, for example, bro, like, when that whole bullshit audio happened, right, bro, like, I came with no jumper, bro, I bombed on Shade Room, 
Boston, Hollywood Unlock, right? Bomb niggas, right? Because, bro, like, I always felt indebted to you. No bomber, no Hollywood Unlock. No, 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 no. Don't fuck with Jay Lee. That's my brother. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I... No, 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 no. All right? All right? No, 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 no. Right? I just never understood why why they will post the audio if we know that, yo, bro, that there are gatekeepers and in this shit and act is the one who broke open the doors, right, for, for us to come in there, right? But, 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 right? But nonetheless, though, right, is... I've always positioned myself to where, yo, I, I would never go against that. I have never, again, again, even after this, I've never said a bad word about Ax, bro, which is why, bro, I'm just like, damn, yo, like, Ax should know better than this, bro. Like, Ax should know that. Like, this shit. Hey, hey hold on. And, and, all right, and, and I hear what you're saying, and probably this is probably a little unfair to you because yeah. this individual, right, He's been trying to bait a back and forth. Imagine somebody been calling you out trying to bait a back and forth, but you know they don't got no argument. Everything they arguing is something that's in bad faith. They hoping somebody pick up. It's like they trying to say, "Yo, well, I know I heard a story about whack with a fifteen year old chick." That's that's fucking false. But they've been saying it enough. They can't wait till somebody pick it up. Who's gonna be the first person to give them a platform? Yeah. So, so the, my thing is, this dude he's already been saying uh, like he said a bunch of stuff that I, I already seen. You know what I mean? And even other people that he was trying to get on.